Hello, my name is Dr. Sarah Wooten. Thank you so much for joining me for this all important topic, cat poop. Woohoo! So this video is entitled uh, The Guide to Cat Poop, what it's telling you, what you need to do, how to interpret it. So if you are watching this video on behalf of your feline friend, I want to thank you because you are making my job easier and you're making your life better for your cat. So let's dive into this sexy topic and learn all the things we can. So there is a lot that you can learn from what is coming out of your cat, basically. Uh, the way that feces look uh, gives us an idea about the health, overall health of the cat and the health of the gastrointestinal system, which is the mouth, the esophagus, the stomach, the intestines, the rectum, and the anus. All of that, we can learn a lot from just looking at what comes out. So it's really important to know not only what abnormal poop looks like in your cat, but what does normal look like? So we're going to discuss all of that in this video, and then we're going to talk about what to do if you ever see abnormal looking poop in your cat's litter box. So let's get going. So before we discuss poop color in our feline friends, it's really important to talk about how normal poop looks. And so that is something that I'm not only going to talk about on this video, but you are going to practice when you are looking and cleaning the litter box, right? Anytime you clean the litter box is, believe it or not, an excellent opportunity to see about how your cat is doing health-wise because there's a lot that we can learn. And getting the knowledge that you're going to get in this video, plus putting it into practice when you clean the litter box, is going to help you catch problems earlier, which will allow for you to have medical intervention sooner if needed and help your cat live longer and better. Many, many medical problems in cats affect their digestive tract. Just think about how common it is for cats to vomit. And that can give you an idea of how many different things can cause them to have problems with their digestive tract. And in fact, sometimes what you're seeing in the litter box can be the first clue of any developing illnesses. So cleaning that litter box is the perfect opportunity to stay on top of that digestive health and make any changes or notes of any changes that you see. And this will allow you to get your cat the intervention that they will need, which can lead to a swifter recovery, and it can potentially ward off bigger problems at the pass. Okay, so what does healthy poop look like? So a healthy gut and digestive system should create fairly normal, boring, formed brown stool. It can be light brown, it can be dark brown, it can be tan, uh, but it's brown, some, some level of brown. And it's the same color all through, right? It's not half dark brown and half light brown, it's all the same color. And so uniformity in color and some form of brown, good. Also, let's talk about consistency. It's firm, but not hard. <laughs> So it, it's pliable, right? It's not really hard and dehydrated. It's mostly unsegmented. So it's just a tube that looks like a little Tootsie Roll. And if there are a couple of segments, no problem. But generally speaking, a nice tube of brown is what you're looking for in that litter box. Another clue, it's easy to scoop out, right? You get in there and you scoop and it just comes out. It doesn't run through your scooper or anything like that. You see all that? Things are good. And you can do that check in literally two seconds. So what does unhealthy poop look like? Anything that is not formed brown stool, anything that falls outside of that, should catch your attention. Weird colors, poop that is too hard. It looks really dehydrated and it's really, really hard, right? You can't just squish it at all. It's a hard little poop ball. If there's lots of segments in the poop or there's lots of little tiny small balls of poop that look like the pellets that a rabbit would poop out, not normal. And the opposite, if it's very runny or it's super soft, like the consistency of soft serve ice cream, or it's really hard to scoop, you just scoop it and it runs right through, bad. 
Those are all bad signs, right? Those are signs that something's off in your cat's digestive tract and it's time to pay attention. So let's go in depth on what some more of these different colors mean. Let's talk about black poop first. <laughs> So black poop, and that is, it's, it looks like coffee grounds. It's very coffee ground-ish, right? This means that there's bleeding somewhere in the upper GI tract. So either the mouth or the esophagus or the stomach or the intestines. This could also be blood that's coming from the respiratory tract that is swallowed. And this is called melena. Black poop is called melena, M-E-L-E-N-A. And that means that there is blood and it has had time in the digestive tract to be digested. And when blood is digested, it turns black and sometimes tarry, but it looks like coffee grounds. We vets call that melana and that is not a good thing, right? Because internal bleeding, no matter where it's coming from is indicative of more serious conditions, right? And if you see black and tarry stool, call a vet immediately. The next color I want to talk about is red poop or streaks of fresh blood on the poop. Okay. So this can be due to a benign cause before you freak out. Don't freak out. It can be due to a benign cause. If your cat is eating food that has red food coloring in it. Yeah. That is just going to go all the way through and show up on the other side. So if you notice red poop, look at what your cat is eating first off because I do see food coloring show up in the poop. Now, if it's not, if you're not feeding your cat red food, food that has red food coloring in it, then it usually indicates bleeding in the lower GI tract, the colon, the rectum, or the anus. So cats can have a lower GI bleed due to colitis. That's severe inflammation of the colon. They can have it due to severe constipation or they can have a more serious condition called hemorrhagic gastroenteritis. This is not good. This is not a good sign. If you see the sign, call your vet immediately. If your cat has red poop and associated with diarrhea, then get your cat seen immediately because this can be a life-threatening condition. Hemorrhagic gastroenteritis is something that you do not want to mess with and you do not want to wait and see, all right? If you notice one streak of blood on the surface of otherwise normal looking poop and your cat's otherwise acting normal, it's not an emergency. And if you never see it again, ugh, I wouldn't do anything about it. But if you're worried at all, or you see more than one streak, it's always a good idea to consult with your vet whenever you see something in the poop that is making you nervous, okay? Especially if you see red poop, and your cat is not eating red kibble. The next color I want to talk about is yellow or green poop. Poop turns yellow or green when it's gone through the GI tract too quickly. This can be due to problems where the gut is contracting too much, or this could be a problem with one of the organs that aid in digestion, such as the liver, the gallbladder, or the pancreas. Yellow or green poop can also be indicative of a bacterial or fungal infection in the gastrointestinal system. So if you see one episode of yellow green poop and then everything is normal, you don't likely need to do anything. But if your cat has several bowel movements that is yellow green or it's yellow green diarrhea, uh, or your cat is losing weight or having any other issues or vomiting, talk to your vet. All right, let's talk about mucus, mucus on the poop. Whoa, this is such a fun topic. Okay, so if you see mucus, that is kind of like slimy. That is indicative of there's something going on in the colon, um, especially in conjunction with diarrhea, that there's some sort of colitis, and that means inflammation in the colon. And oftentimes what you'll see is several small different spots of mucusy poop, often diarrhea. And that's because the cat, when they have colitis, or if you've had colitis, you know how this feels. You feel like you have to go. And then you only poop little tiny bits. 
right? So that is indicative of inflammation in the colon. That's generally not a life-threatening issue, but it is very uncomfortable and it does need veterinary attention as soon as you can get there, if it does not resolve on its own after one day, right? Okay, and then lastly, I wanna talk about white spots on or in the poop. Gross. Things that look like grains of rice, things that look like little white dots or actual moving worms in the poop. This means intestinal parasites, ah, hookworms, roundworms, whipworms, tapeworms, you name it. They can all get into your cat. So kittens and cats that hunt or spend a lot of time outdoors are at higher risk for intestinal parasites. So if you are seeing white spots, get a poop sample immediately and take it to a veterinarian to have it analyzed. It's likely that your cat will be prescribed a dewormer and the dewormer will be specific to what they're finding or what they suspect your cat has. Also, here is a caveat. If you see grains of rice, those are tapeworm segments. Those are called proglottids. Proglottids is your word for the day. And those are little egg packets that break off the end of a tapeworm and are full of little infectious eggs. The thing about tapeworms in cats is they are either due to hunting, so eating an animal that had tapeworms, or more likely they're due to fleas. And the way that happens is tapeworms, tapeworm segments, those little grains of rice are not contagious to other cats or people because tapeworms require fleas as part of their life cycle. Interesting, right? And how cats typically get them is they will be grooming themselves and they will groom a flea off of themselves that is infected with tapeworms and swallow it and then boom tapeworms. So if you uh, also get prescribed flea control at the same time you get prescribed a dewormer, don't be surprised because your cat knows where or your vet knows where tapeworms come from. So that's all I have on interpreting how the different types of poop that you are going to find in that litter box. And now you know so much more of what's going on inside your cat that with just a quick look each day when you scoop it, you know whether your cat's digestive tract is in top form or needs some help. So I hope this information has been helpful. If it is, uh, leave me a comment and let me know. Um, and feel free to share this video with your friends. You know, it's a video all about cat poop. Who, who, who doesn't wanna watch a video about cat poop? Uh, and then leave, leave me comments and let me know what else you would like me to cover because I am here regularly bringing veterinary information to you so that you can be in the driver's seat of your pet's health and help them live longer and healthier lives. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Sarah Wooten, and I will be back soon with more cat health information for you.